Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So today we're at my messy mixed media table that I love to do uh, different projects and experiments and stuff on. And I want to tell you guys a fun little tip that you can do. The inside of a shower curtain is what I put on top of this uh, table, and it works great. So you can like take it and wipe off stuff when you're done and it uh, doesn't really matter. And then when it gets too messy on one side, you can flip it around and do the other side. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. That's a fun little tip and trick. And uh, yeah. So today, though, what we're going to be doing is I asked you guys the other day when we were working on my feather leather journal, which I have a playlist. I'll put that on the end screen so you guys can check it out. I asked you guys if uh, you wanted to see how I made these fun. This is a mixed media five by seven, uh, just a fun piece of just paper, you know, that you can paint on and stuff. And I splattered coffee and did some fun little things with it. And I was wondering if you guys wanted to know how to do it. And I got tons of responses and comments. So thank you guys so, so much. And I want to show you guys how to do this today. So I do, I could do it on, uh, like this kind of technique and I did it on envelopes like this which turned out really fun. And the lines that go through my envelopes are when I coffee dye or when I dyed all this, I put it over onto my rack to dry. And it's like a metal rack that has lines going through it like that. So when it's wet, if you put it on something like that, you'll get the imprints in it, which I think turned out really cool. So that's, that's super fun. Okay. So what I want to do is get started here and show you guys how I do this process. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with some mixed media paper. So what I did is I had a big roasting pan that I use, and I only use it for dyeing papers and stuff, and I added instant coffee. Uh, let me go grab that real quick. Okay, so what I use is just an instant coffee. It's just a dark roast, and it's just whatever's cheap at the grocery store, because we're not drinking it. We're just using it to dye papers and fabrics. It was great on fabrics and stuff. So that's what this is, and it's just the granules inside of it. Okay, so I put it in a big basin, and I just add, you don't even, it doesn't even have to be warm water or anything. I just add water to it, and then add the coffee granules, and then just soak my papers in it, and then put them over onto my rack to dry. Let's see, see, some of them have that imprint on them. Let's see, like that, that turned out really fun. So these are just great to use in your junk journals. I mean, you could do them for uh, journaling cards, belly bands, uh, covers to a journal, or, you know, use it as a page. So there's so many different ways you can use these. Super versatile. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And I'm going to put my gloves on for this just because it does get a little messy, which is the fun part. <laughs> okay, so what I have here is it's PVA, which is just like a school glue, like an Elmer's glue, water, just some water, and coffee granules. So there's no technique or I mean measurements or anything like that to it. I just kind of make it the consistency that I want. And you could see that it's just a little little thicker, not as thick as glue. So just whatever consistency you want to do that. Okay. And what I want to do is show you guys the first version here, which is this one. And it's pretty simple. You just take it and dip your fingers in your solution and then you just splatter it. You could just do some splatters just like that. However thick or thin or much or less that you want. Okay. So there's that. And then I suggest have a, just a rag or a towel or a paper towel or something just kind of so you don't get it everywhere here. And then we could take some of our granules and if you want you could just drop them in Put them in the mixture here 
and it will caramelize. So that's the cool part here. So if you do that, okay. And then if you want, you can take your water and spritz it a little just to activate the coffee. Just give it a little bit of spritz here. Okay, so there's that, right? So you just set that to the side, let it dry. And what you'll get is these fun little caramelized, see how it shines? So it's just like a caramel, which is really fun. And there's a way to make it so these aren't sticky. So remind me, I will tell you guys that in a minute and I'll show you, okay? And if I don't, just remind me in the comments and then I'll let you guys know, but I'll, I'll remember. Okay, so there's that. And now let's go ahead and do another one real quick. So let's see what side we want. So I'm just gonna make a couple of those. Or you could just take it and do little splats, big splats. And I suggest to do this in a spot that you don't mind getting glue and coffee and splatters everywhere because you'll find it on the ceiling you'll find it on your curtains you'll find it on your lamp you'll find it in your hair <laughs> I mean it'll be everywhere but it's all natural right yeah so you're going for the natural look here okay so we're just gonna and you can even do it in spots wherever just anywhere it doesn't have to be right on through the coffee because then you could just activate it with your water. That's all it needs is just some water just to start the process of it breaking down and caramelizing. So there we go. And then I'm going to set this over to the side so you can see. Set it over here. All right. So the next thing we could do, let's go ahead and do an envelope. Because I want to do just the same. Because once we start the messier project process, we won't be able to splatter as much without make, having it be a mess. So let's just do everything that we want to splatter first. Which, you know, our splatter technique is what I'm calling it. <laughs> My technical technique here. So you just take it and just however you want to do it. Like that, like that, like that. There we go. So it's just super fun to me. And you can do that. And now, if you also want to incorporate maybe some Rit dye, some oxide sprays, different things like that that you have just laying around, uh, that could be fun too. So you could just kind of go like this. And this is just black. So then, there we go. So that just gives it a fun look to it. Okay, and then after this side dries, you can always flip it over and do the other side, but I suggest to do one side, let it dry, and then flip it over. Okay. So just do this one. Or, you know, you can always pat it in like that and just get a little bit. Let it do its thing, and then if you want, just do some sprinkles, some spritzes. And that just gives it a different look to it. Okay, so I'm gonna set that over to the side. All right, so we got that technique. Now, Let's go ahead and mess around with this kind of technique. Okay. Now, what I did with this one is, and I'll show you, it was just on a envelope that I never, I didn't even coffee dye. I didn't do anything to it. I just grabbed it and we could start there. So we're just gonna take it and 
put some splats on. And what I have here is a silicone mat, but you could use the shower curtain too. You don't have to have the mat. You could just have like, you know, some surface underneath that you could just wipe up afterwards. So I like the silicone mat because it's just easy to take to the sink and rinse out. Okay, so we could do that. Plus we can we'll do a little bit of splattering. And then I just went like this. That's kind of fun. And then if you want, you can add a little bit of water. And then I have coffee. This is just coffee and water. And if you don't, if you keep it in a spray bottle for a while, I would suggest putting some uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I have some right here. I'll show you guys. I just put... So I just put this in there. It's just 50% icy purple alcohol. And I just did a squirt of it just in my coffee, just so there's no mold and stuff that will build up. It'll help keep it away longer. But if you want this to stay longer, you could put it in the fridge, in the refrigerator, and that helps too. But you can take your spray and do that, or you can spritz it on. So it's not like you have to coffee dye. You could just have some coffee in a spritz bottle and then just do some spritzing. And then you can rub that around if you want. And so it's just however you're wanting it to look. And you can even smear it around like that. Just kind of give it a grungy look here. So I'm liking that. Okay. And then you can just take some of this. Caramels on there. And then activate it. Okay. And then we'll set that over to the side. Okay. So we got that. And then here. Just add some more. Because I, I just like this mixture because it just gives it a nice thick thickness to play with, you know, like it makes it more of a, uh, just a nice pudding like texture. It kind of does look like pudding, doesn't it? Okay. Don't eat it. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay. So we're going to do that like that. And then you can maybe even take some of these, put it down in there. So just start playing around. down and look at that so it's kind of fun to leave some open spaces too like you don't need to cover all of it you know so that gives it kind of a fun feel to it so then you already have your granules in there and they're pretty soaked pretty wet so I just leave them and let that dry okay now so we did some mixed media paper some envelopes Let's see. Now, a fun thing would be, too, is just a junk mail. So, let's see. I don't really want to get too much on the window, so we could just go like this. So, junk mail is definitely something you could play with. So, you can just tap it in spots that you want it. You know, do the back of it. Like that. I mean, I get, if it gets on the window, you could probably just wipe it off. So let's do that. Let's not worry about it too much. Okay. My spritzer is acting up today. So you can do a little more coffee on there. Do a little uh, splatters. You can just kind of wipe this off. Maybe a wet paper towel would work. Or a baby wipe or, you know, a wet wiper or something like that. And then you could get it cleaner. Okay, so you could do that. My smudge technique. Okay, I like that. Alright, I'm running out of room here. 
Let's see. So we did those. And then we got our fancy fun papers that we can play with. Let's see. So we got some of these that I coffee dyed. So just kind of look around, see what you got. And like I said, you don't have to coffee dye at first. You can always just have a spritz bottle or just leave it, uh, you know, white in the background and just keep a little bit showing like that. I think that looks really good. Kind of just gives it a nice, um, just different, uh, I'm looking for the word. I want to say texture looking, but it just gives it a different, uh, I went blank. <laughs> Contrast. There you go. I thought of it. I thought of it. It's a different contrast. There we go. You know, when you start, you know, videotaping, your brain goes blank. Everything goes blank. You're like, what is that word? <laughs> so there we go. There, I like that. Jeez, that looks really cool. So just kind of, once you get your little palette the way you want it, and keep adding more fun things and doing that, You'll start getting some cooler colors coming up. Okay. So there we go. I'm just trying to pick up what's on there. these that I coffee dye. It's just those coloring books. And I really like this one. I'm just splattering just to get the base of it going here. And I'm going to water it down. really cool looking. So it's spreading like that. That's kind of fun. So maybe let it spread around a second. That's kind of cool. So just add some interest to your, I mean you could do less than I'm doing too. You don't have to do as much. I always seem to go overboard, but I think that looks really pretty. And I'll show you guys all these when they're dry. So what I'm going to do is on a time lapse, I'm gonna keep going and get all these done how I want them. And then I will come back at the end and show you guys them all dry and looking pretty. So everything is dry, so I wanted to show you guys real quick how it all turned out. So I think that turned out really cool. So now you can see, that's actually really not sticky, but if this was sticky, what you would do is just take some baby powder or some cornstarch, and this is just 
pretty much cornstarch with a, a fragrance in it. Uh, there's no added anything else. It just says pure cornstarch. So you just take some and put some on your finger and then you just rub it onto the sticky part and then it just go, you don't see it anymore. Like you don't see the powder or nothing. You just kind of rub that in there and then it makes it so it doesn't stay sticky. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. And I did remember, so that's good. Okay, so there's that. Didn't it turn out cool though? Don't you love all the colors and yeah, it's just so much fun. So you can see they all turned out a little bit different here. So these are just great to use in projects. Now, if yours came undone, kind of like this, all you got to do is just take, you know, you could take some art glitter glue and just glue and put it right back together. So that's easy. Isn't that fun? I mean, this is so much fun. And now with these, after I did them and they were still wet, I went ahead and I hung them up like this. I just clipped them and hung them. And you could see that it kind of pulled down here, which is really neat. And everything kind of ran that way. So that's something to think about too. If you want to hang them up like this one, I did the same thing. So as it was hanging like that, it was still wet. So it all dripped down. I just thought that turned out really fun. So then this is the mixed media paper. I just think that it just turned out really cool. And then this is uh, when I put it onto my shelf. You could see my little rack that I dry it on. It's just a little metal rack that has the little metal bars going through it. And you can see that that's really fun. So that's something to think about too. Okay, so this is just some stuff we can use. And then we got our envelope. And when it got on there, I just took a wet wipe and just kind of wiped it off. So it didn't look all murky. So I think that turned out fun. So that's something that could definitely be worked into a project. And then just some of our fun papers. Some graph papers. I really like the way that turned out. It's turned out really cool. So these are gonna be fun to play with for sure. Now that one's definitely sticky, so you can just take it. Oop, I got way too much. And just get some on your finger and just go like that with it. And then it'll just rub in. And then it's not sticky anymore. So there. Just a little tip and trick there. But these just turned out really fun. Oh, now this, I uh, took my lid that I had for my uh, coffee and water and the PVA glue, that the lid that came to it, the little Tupperware lid, had some coffee on it. So I spritzed it with my water bottle, or yeah, with my water spritzer and then I just went like this with the lid and made the little circles so I just thought that was kind of fun and then see that's sticky right there so, and plus it's I didn't dry these overnight they just sat for a couple hours so I think once they dry to like 24 hours it won't be sticky so there we go so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.